My name is Gary Cruz. I'm an author from Hornchurch in Essex. Uh, I write dark thrillers, horror, science fiction and fantasy. Um, occasionally dabble in a little bit of mainstream fiction as well. Um, my short story, Hope in the Dark, won the Writers Forum short story competition in November 2021. And my debut novel was published in January 2022. And I've had short stories and flash fiction published in print and online anthologies. So my latest book is called Badlands. It's my debut novel. It's a dark thriller set on the north coast of Cornwall. Um, it's the story of Megan Willow Ray, uh, a runaway with a wounded soul who comes home searching for her sister, um, unaware that she's being hunted by a scarred orphan with a lust for blood. And both of them are being set up for a fall by a man of God with a heart of darkness who has his own reasons to silence them both. Um, it's a story of deception, betrayal and conspiracy. Um, it's a story of families, uh, it's a story of identity, who you are, who you say you are, who you think you are. Um, and it's getting some really good reviews and some really good feedback on Amazon. The story was inspired by the setting of St Agnes initially. Um, the, it's, a, it's an area full of like coves and beaches and secluded areas and um, it's kind of semi-wild but, but still quite quaint and quite, um, and quite uh, bohemian in some places. Um, it's, there's a pub in St Agnes called the Driftwood Spas um, and in the actual pub um, there's an old wreckers tunnel that's closed up now that runs behind the bar. Um, you can see into it from one of the side rooms, but it started my imagination thinking, and I started thinking, what if the tunnel was actually reopened and used for modern day smuggling, um, which led on to the creation of the conspiracy and the, um, the, the antagonist and his gang of smugglers and thieves and murderers. Um, it was also inspired by um, sort of family conflicts and, and um, trying to understand why someone would run away, what drives someone away from their family, from their home, from the place they grew up in, and ultimately what also brings them back. Um, and it's, it's the conflict that drove them away, and it's trying to resolve that conflict and the hope conflict and the hope of resolving that conflict that drives them back. The main character, Willow, actually was a side character in another story. Um, she was a walk-on part initially. I was just writing the first couple of chapters of a story and I just wrote a line about um, a girl with wild red dreadlocks curled up on the floor in this backpacker's apartment in Sydney. Um, and then as the scene developed and she started moving and talking, I realized actually she had a backstory. Um, I didn't know what it was. Um, and, as I, and as I was trying to write that draft, the story I'd originally planned, kind of went to pot as I was trying to figure out who this Willow character actually was, where she fit into the story, and she never quite fit. Um, but I kept plugging away at it for a couple of drafts, but it never quite worked. So I put it to one side and moved on to other things. And then um, the story, the, the name Badlands is actually from uh, the area of St Agnes. They, the surfers used to call it St Agnes, call St Agnes in the area around that Badlands. Um, so as I started working on Badlands, I came up with the antagonist, um, the, the drug smuggler, Richard Goddard, and his gang of thieves and murderers. Um, he was inspired <laughs> by a dream. Um, I had a dream about uh, a vicar running a gang of thieves out of Newquay, um, and that kind of fit into where I wanted to go, but I just needed to make a few changes, so it became less about thievery and more about blackmail, coercion, murder. Um, and I set it in and around St Agnes rather than Newquay because um, St Agnes is a little bit more secluded and a little bit it was kind of I can imagine it being the area where he could get away with it pretty easily if he had the right people in his pocket um, as I started working on that I needed a main character um, tried a few different characters for the as I, as I was developing the notes had some ideas wanted somebody that had knew the area but wanted to come back or was going to be forced to come back um, to face 
what was going on. Um, and that was when I realized that Willow actually fit that story really, really well. Um, so this side character that I created in uh, the old project suddenly became the main character in Badlands. And once she slotted into place, everything slotted into place and she and the story rolled on from there. Um, and it ultimately became her story. Creation, creating stories, creating characters. Um, I very often inspired by place. So Badlands was inspired by St. Agnes and Corn when I went there and I wanted to write a story about that area. I wanted to write about the coastline and the coves and the and the beaches and the surf culture and and I also wanted to look at some of the darker side of of um, places that are big tourist places. So the, the, the fact that their culture is seasonal and relies on tourists but also they don't really always like the tourists because the tourists kind of ruin the vibe sometimes so there was that conflict there and I like I like exploring that through the writing um, uh, my current work in progress is um, also inspired by place again this, um, this one is set in Hickling uh, on the Norfolk Broad so a slightly different place a slightly different vibe um, but again it's kind of visiting these places and thinking what could happen here, what what bad things could happen here, because you want conflict in fiction, um, or I do anyway. <laughs> um, uh, so you kind of think what what dark secrets could exist in these places, what could what in these little kind of touristy places, these kind of pretty little villages and towns with the, with their dark side. Um, so I love using stories to explore fictional. Um, darkness in some really beautiful places. Um, I also like to just explore ideas around um, motivations of characters, what makes a character do one thing and another character do something else. And just having the freedom just to write and create stories. I love, you know, I love just sitting down and, and writing um, anything really, but working on stories is something that I'm really passionate about. write what you love because <laughs> you're going to read it a lot <laughs> if you finish it um, you're going to read it many many times so you really need to love what you're writing and really really need to be passionate about the project and not just doing it because you think it's going to be a bestseller or anything like that um, love what you're writing really be passionate about it because it is going to be a, you know, particularly novels a short story can take a week maybe two a novel um can be two three years of your life i started the first notes for badlands i started in uh, august 2017 i started writing it in 2019 and it was eventually published in 2022 so that's five years of my life that were sort of pretty much dedicated to writing badlands so love what you write you're going to spend a long time on it so you really have to be passionate about it so badlands is available on amazon um, there is a link below the video. Um, it's also you can also get signed copies through my website, signed paperback copies through my website. Um, but it's predominantly available in ebook, paperback, and on Kindle Unlimited through Amazon. Thanks for watching.